Avengers, Age of Ultron earned $21. 34 million on its second Friday, down a harsh 74. 8% from last Friday. Now a few things of note, that's just a shade worse than the 74% Friday to Friday plunge of Iron Man 3 over the same frame, back in 2013. It also crossed the $250 million domestic milestone on Friday, doing it in just eight days with a new cum of $257 million. That's second only to the Avengers, six days, and puts it on par with the likes of The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and The Dark Knight. At this point, it's still playing firmly in the second only to the first Avengers territory, and even if it's Relative downward trend continues, it will still end up well and above $400 million domestic. Having said that, Iron Man 3 had to face off against the surprisingly robust debut weekend of The Great Gatsby, while Avengers 2 of 4 had to square off against just the underwhelming debut of Hot Pursuit. Iron Man 3 made 3. Six exits Friday number over its second weekend for a 58% drop and a $72 million second frame. There is little reason not to expect a similar run for Avengers, Age of Ultron and thus expect an $80 million second weekend, minus 59%, accordingly. If it does a mere 3. 55x weekend multiplier it gets to $76. 5 million, minus 60%. Either way, the film is flying over the $300 million domestic mark tomorrow, one day behind the Avengers but on par with The Dark Knight back in 2008. In fact, it's $310 million, $315 million cum for tomorrow would also put it on par with the 10-day totals of the Dark Knight, $313 million, and way ahead of the Dark Knight Rises, $287 million. Actually the Dark Knight Rises, which ended with $448 million, is probably a pretty solid comparison at least in terms of perception if not actual weekend-to-weekend -weekend performance. It opened smaller, dropped harder, but then leveled out as summer was basically over by the end of July. It was never going to match up with the Avengers, $373 million in 10 days in America, at least not in America. As it stands, it still looks like we're looking at an Iron Man 3 like 2. 35x weekend to final multiplier for a $450 million domestic cum, give or take the breaks. It crossed $750 million worldwide yesterday, including $500 million in overseas grosses alone, and should take a shot at $900 million worldwide by tomorrow before it drops in China on May 12. It's still a massive friggin' hit and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It will be amusing to see how the Saturday numbers hold up compared to the likes of Iron Man 3 and The Avengers. Everyone talked about how the big boxing match hurt the overall debut weekend last week, and I will be amused if the film has a much smaller drop from Saturday to Saturday than on Friday and Sunday. As I said last weekend, even if audiences didn't catch Avengers 2 last weekend because of the fight, that didn't mean they were never going to see the film in theaters over the course of its run.